Hey gang, do you remember when you first learned that pentatonic box position? Like magic, suddenly licks and riffs became clear. You could even improvise with limitations. Well today I want to show you something that's very similar. It makes difficult things seem easy. And it's not just for the blues. Coming right up. One of my favorite things to do as a young guitarist was to learn and play Led Zeppelin licks. Most of them could be handled by the minor pentatonic or its extension. But then there was this one. Those notes at the top of the neck, they didn't fit into the minor pentatonic box or its extension. And I didn't know it at the time, but they didn't fit into minor pentatonic shape number three either. Remember folks, in the 70s, there was no YouTube. So what was it? Well, it's known today as the BB box, named after BB King, and it's fantastic for giving really sweet sounds for the blues or blues rock songs, with one exception. Let's check it out. It's usually shown as a five or six note box pattern. Here it is in A. There's the root, A. Now it's important to understand this. This is not the extension to the minor pentatonic, as we can see here. It's basically the same shape, but two frets closer to the bridge. And you can navigate by using that A on the B string. As I said, it's used in all sorts of music, and players like Jimmy Page and Eric Clapton and Billy Gibbons and Stevie Ray and John Mayer and so many more used it to get a sweeter type of blues sound instead of a more tough minor pentatonic sound. And you may recognize this little line from Joe Walsh. So you see, it's not just the blues, but what I really love about it is that it's great for developing dynamics and tone and developing your ear because you don't have to worry about the notes that you're hitting. It's basically theory free. So you can focus on putting what people call feeling into your play and not worrying about theory. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. Take for example, this chord progression, which looks pretty complicated. It's got some exotic chords like a D9 and a D sharp diminished and an E augmented and it's got lots and lots of chord changes, a lot more than you'd normally expect in a blues rock or a pop song, and yet the BB box makes it all pretty simple to play and sound good. Check it out. See how it just cut through all the theory? I was able to focus on simple melody ideas, leaving space, playing loud and soft, getting my bends right. In short, I was thinking about music and playing guitar. I wasn't thinking about where are the notes and all that kind of stuff. And you can do this too. In fact, it's a great exercise to limit yourself to just playing a few notes. You'll be pleasantly surprised with the ideas that you come up with. Oh right, the exception. I almost forgot about that. A purely minor blues like The Thrill Is Gone or Since I've Been Loving You, not the best for the BB Box. All right, well that just really scrapes the surface of the BB Box, but in this video I go into much more detail and some famous examples, so I know you're going to want to check that out. So click on that video and we'll see you on down the road.